One is dead on rival. Number two, the Democrats prefer the issue than any solution. Now Republicans have a chance to do something about the southern border, and they say no. To see what's truly in the bill. There's three clips that we had in secession. We had Tim Scott speaking about the the um, immigration bill being dead on arrival. Then we had the James Langford clip of explaining what's in that piece of legislation. And then we had the Morning Joe clip um, where he went we, he went off on Mike Johnson, Speaker of the House. We're going to run those clips one at a time, and I'll talk in between them. But here's what I want you to see. The logic and the thinking and the rationale, the Rubicon, that's the best way I could. Republicans have crossed the Rubicon so far that they can't even convince themselves to support themselves. I got to say that again so you understand. What you're going to see in this next succession of videos, succession, not secession, because that's what Republicans in Texas want to do. Um, what you're going to see in the, in the next few videos is the reaction to mm -mm, the attempt to actually do something about the border with legislation being sabotaged by the Republican Party. But it's even funnier when you realize the legislation that Republicans sabotaged was legislation from a conservative who is one of the most extremist conservatives in the equation. And the policy on the border that they scuttled was like one of the most draconian, po like they could not have asked for more of a bill to do all of the little nasty things that they want to do to immigrants on the border than James Langford's bill. But because Republicans are so far gone past the Rubicon, they can't even agree to agree on their own policies. Let's start first with Tim Scott outlining the fact that that policy that they are now labeling as the Schumer slash Langford policy, he's on Fox News saying that it's dead on arrival. Let's take a look. Border. Is this a border deal done in the Senate? McConnell, yeah, we, we are reporting from yes. Jake, if we're speaking of uh, things that are over, uh, reporting from Jake Sherman late today that McConnell uh, is, sent, is told a closed meeting of Senate Republicans, maybe you were there, that the politics of the border has flipped for Republicans and cast doubt on linking Ukraine and the border. Well, we know two things. Number one, it's dead on rival. Number two, the Democrats prefer the issue than any solution. Never forget that on any issue impacting marginal people, they go with problem not with solution mcconnell's gonna all right so the accusation is that this example is an example of democrats who want a problem and not a solution he's suggesting that democrats want to perpetually run on the issue of immigration they don't really want a solution problem was it wasn't scuttled by democrats it wasn't sabotaged by democrats it was sabotaged by Republicans. Matter of fact, David, I think the best clip to go to next is the uh, uh, Morning Joe clip where where Jim, Joe Scarborough lost his cool and started cussing and everything because Republicans are so ridiculous. Take a look. Quote, underscores that keeping our southern border open to traffickers and cartels is part of a deliberate strategy. Oh, wait, 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 say, hold on. I, I don't want to be here. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. No, no, no. no, no, no. Look, this is the guy. Biden? This is the guy. Look at that guy. You see that guy right there? Yeah, I see him. That is the guy who is willing to stab Israel in the back. Mm -hmm. That is the guy who's willing to do Vladimir Putin's bidding and stab Ukrainians in the back letting Russia invade them. And that is the guy who is saying no to what hardcore conservatives are calling the toughest border security bill ever. And you know who's behind that tough security bill? James Langford of Oklahoma, one of the most conservative Republicans in the House or the Senate, but it is Mike Johnson because Donald Trump is telling him it is Mike Johnson who is stabbing Israel in the back. It is Mike Johnson who is stabbing Ukraine in the back. And it is Mike Johnson who is saying, let's keep 
the gates open for another eight months and let illegal immigrants and fentanyl stream over the border after bitching about it for years. Now Republicans have a chance to do something about the southern border and they say no. Mm -hmm. No, we want fentanyl to keep coming across and killing our children. We want illegal immigrants to keep streaming into this country. We want Israel stabbed in the back. We want Ukraine stabbed in the back. We want Vladimir Putin to go all the way to Ukraine because that's what Donald Trump wants. Okay, um, I want to be sure. I certainly don't agree with all of the framing of Joe Scarborough's arguments. Certainly agree with them on Ukraine. Um, but what's so important about this argument uh, is that it's not the Democrats that just undermine the policy at the border that was written by the most conservative and extremist Republican, James Langford who will now, in this next clip, explain to you exactly what was in this policy that they could have passed because Democrats will capitulate. Listen, you got Eric Adams in New York. You know, you got Democrats who will capitulate and give in to the xenophobia that's at the root of uh, this immigration argument. Um, but it wasn't Democrats who scuttled this. It was Republicans for a very specific reason that James Lankford is going to mention. I want you to listen very closely and please tell me in the chat room if you can identify the reason why Republicans are destroying themselves at this point. Run the clip, David. <coughs> all over social media. I also encourage people at home to not believe everything you read on the internet. Actually pause until you actually get the real text. You got to take it back just a little bit to the top the of this text. Lankford says he and those things have a cost, and we've got to figure out how to be able to balance out the policy and the cost on it. Monday's Supreme Court decision to allow Border Patrol agents to cut razor wire installed by the Texas National Guard only is making an issue already supercharged politically even more so. Langford says there's lots of misinformation about what's supposedly in the bill all over social media. I also encourage people at home to not believe everything you read on the internet. Actually pause until you actually get the real text to be able to see what's truly in the bill. Langford says he and the others at the table That's fine, right going there. in that working on... Langford, put his face back on the screen and just pause it. Langford is one of the most conservative conservatives in the conservative equation. He came up with a bill in the Senate that is draconian, that increases funding for deportation flights, uh, increases the number of bed and detention centers. I, I mean, it just throws money at creating more of a police state for immigrants and asylum seekers and migrants. He's not able to get it passed not only because of Donald Trump telling Mike Johnson to interfere, but because Republicans are buying into misinformation from other Republicans. And now Republicans are like, like James Langford is having to tell other Republicans, wait a minute, take a minute to read the policy. Take a minute to read the bill. Don't buy into all the misinformation. Don't buy into all of the memes that come across social media that tells you X, Y, and Z when it's really A, B, and C. Republicans are not able to move forward because misinformation techniques that they used on the rest of America is now coming back to bite them in the, in the behind. Oh, the, the schadenfreude. Oh, the tangled web we weave when we have to deceive and to lie and to spread misinformation to gain political power, what ends up happening in the end? Well, on the eve of what conservatives really want to be the second civil war, we see what happens. We see what happens when you start down the path of disingenuous and bad faith argumentation that the Republicans and conservatives have been doing for years. Democrats do it too, but what we're talking about right now is what's happening at the border. They destroyed their own best policy, which was draconian and fascistic and everything a conservative would want. They destroyed it because of their own misinformation techniques.
I don't need the problem is though is they're not just destroying that policy that bill they're destroying everything they're pushing us to the brink greg abbott has intentionally caused a constitutional crisis and now we need to see how joe biden is going to respond i am curious to see is he going to respond by sending federal troops down there to enforce this is he going to back down like they said it's going to be a, a no win a lose lose situation and that's exactly the position that they want america to be in that's exactly the position they need us to be in in a lose lose situation because if we ever had a chance they would never have a chance if the people of good faith on our side of the equation who are fighting for justice actually had a fair and balanced algorithm and the scale was not, didn't have Elon Musk thumbprint on it, right? Conservatism wouldn't stand a chance. If our voices were amplified to the same extent that theirs are amplified, their ideas wouldn't stand a chance. This is why they need the hermetically sealed echo chamber. This is why they need the misinformation. This is why they need the bad faith arguments. This is why they need religious justification that ignores all of the calls for justice. This is why they have to distort every single thing possible because they can't win if the level of the playing field was leveled.